Hey everyone, it's Luke from Solar Hood. On today's story from the Solar Hood, we're gonna talk with Dan and find out how his neighbors up the street talked him into going solar. So let's go talk with Dan. Hey everyone, it's Luke from Solar Hood, and today we're here with Dan, who's gonna talk with us about his installation that's right behind us back here. Thanks for joining us today, Dan. Absolutely. Yeah, and so it is just beautiful out here. I love being able to get out, and check out cool installations like this. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask first, really what got you into solar? Because it sounds like you talked with some neighbors around here about their installation, and that kind of helped guide your decision to really get in and and go solar. So tell me a little yeah. bit about, about that. Well, so, so Luke, you know, we have for, for my house and here on our farm, we, we have quite a bit of electric usage. Mm -hmm. And so we were really looking at ways that we could supplement that usage and try Offset to reduce it. some of our costs. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we spent a couple years researching mm -hmm. the benefits of wind versus solar, you know, to see where we could get the best impact right. and the best return. You ultimately decided solar. Which ultimately went with solar. Yeah, yeah. it looks great. And so you chatted with your neighbor and, and they said, you know, this is easy. This is, you know, you kind of asked some questions to them and ultimately, all right, let's go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So uh, a neighbor who lives just a couple miles north of mm -hmm. us, um, they had put in a pretty good size system. And mm -hmm. um, I knew who their contractor was and the installer. And mm -hmm. so met with Helped them. you get comfortable with it. Absolutely. All. Yeah. Kind yeah. of finalize it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, tell me a little bit about the technical details. I know this is a bigger installation than I'm used to seeing. So how big is this installation? Yeah. So we have um, we have 36 panels. Mm -hmm. They're rated at about 320 watts per panel. All right. So the system as a whole nice. uh, generates about 11.56 mm -hmm. kilowatts right. is what it's rated at. Great. Um, so do you know, I mean, you've had it since October, I believe you said. Yeah. Um, have a sense for how much it's offsetting of yeah. your... Yeah, I would say so far, even just through some of the cloudy days and the short mm -hmm. months that we've had mm -hmm. over the winter, um, we've been able to offset about 54% mm -hmm. of our usage already. And I'd say that's going to start going up with these nice sunny days. Absolutely, days. we're hopeful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Um, well, tell me a little bit about the installation. How did that go? Did you, um, it sounds like your installation was actually pretty quick. It was. So they had scheduled about a week uh -huh. to do the installation. Uh -huh. Um, took them about two weeks, mm -hmm. not a big deal. Mm -hmm. The company that we worked with, um, they did all the permitting with KCPNL mm -hmm. and with the county, mm -hmm. and so we didn't have to deal with any of the paperwork. So pretty smooth sailing. Pretty smooth, that. yeah. Okay, cool. Well, did you have any issues? Uh, it sounds like you had one probably minor issue. Yeah, so the only issue we really had, um, you know, the schedule took a week longer, mm -hmm. but that wasn't a big issue for us. Mm -hmm. um, You've been thinking about this for a while. We've been thinking so. about it, yeah, yeah, so a couple years into it, what's another week? <laughs> yeah. Uh, with the system that we have, there's a controller that monitors how much energy we're producing mm -hmm. um, every hour and mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. and that controller uses a cellular signal mm -hmm. to provide information back to a network. Mm -hmm. Well, our coverage out here is pretty low, right? and so initially that controller didn't work well, mm -hmm. and so I called our installer back, and they came out and put in a Wi-Fi booster, yeah. where they just pointed from the house to the barn, yeah. and uh, we got great signal, and now I've got Wi-Fi go. in my yard. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so we can hook up on our phone. Absolutely. And, yeah, all right, yeah. upload all our photos and videos. Yeah, with the right password. Yeah, okay, we'll get that later. Um, so, I guess... Tell me a little bit about the future, how you see the future of solar. You know, we kind of talked about the technical details and how easy it was for you to get into it. Well, how do you see this kind of becoming, or how do you see the future of solar within communities and your yeah. neighborhoods? And You know, I think if the industry continues to grow the way the computer industry has, where things get less expensive uh -huh. and costs come down cost comes down mm -hmm. um, easier to access mm -hmm. um, i think it'll be a growth market yeah i think you'll see a lot of consumers leveraging solar mm -hmm. yeah and you went into solar largely to reduce operating costs you yes. know that's a big part of what people are doing and so if costs come down savings are there or yeah. increasing um it's kind of a no-brainer yeah cool. and i think it gives everybody an opportunity to kind of give a little bit back to nature. You're mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. consuming so much power. Mm -hmm. You're actually able you to feel produce good about a little that. bit yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Kind of local power, right? Yeah. You do a lot of stuff locally here, you know? Right. Um, well, cool. So I guess the last question I'll ask uh, that we've started to ask people is, if you were to tell one thing to somebody that's considering solar, um, just one, what would that be? 
I would say don't be afraid to do your research. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. there's a lot of information on the internet. Not all of it's completely true or accurate. Mm -hmm. um, read lots of articles. Yeah, dig you know, into it. Dig into yeah. it. Find out about warranties. Right. So it sounds like you did that for a while, but once yeah. you did that, you figured out what what the technology is, how it works, then you were fairly comfortable with it. So. Yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. All right. Well, cool, Dan. Thanks for chatting with us today. Yeah, thank you. I really enjoyed it. It was good to get out in nice weather today. Yes. I'm sweating a little bit, but it's great. Um, and what we'd like you to do is if you thought this was beneficial and you think somebody else may benefit from this conversation and this story about Dan's installation here, tag a friend, uh, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, whatever channel you're on, uh, we're on, and, and let somebody know. So that's it for today. We'll see you next time.